Hey guys, Sasha J here and welcome back to the channel and if you're new here then welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I dye this long beautiful mane of mine dark black and I usually stick to one color box ever since I've been dyeing my hair black and I always always stick to it. And I'm just going to show you today what my process is of how I dye my hair and how I get this color. I usually get it pretty even. Now mind you, obviously when you do your hair at home, it's not going to be perfect. You're still going to be missing spots, you're, especially if you're doing it by yourself and you have no one to tell you, like, can you get the back part of my hair? Especially if you have long hair like me, like it's still, it's still going nice. So it's, I have like maybe a few, I think I counted like maybe two, which is like really good for me. Usually I miss like three spots. I only miss two. So I've, I've, this particular application was really good for me. So I hope I'm able to help you out. So that way you can get this nice shiny black look. And yeah, so if you're interested on how I dye my hair at home, then let's get started. You're going to want to divide your hair into four sections. So you want to split your hair down the middle. It doesn't matter where you part it, just split it. So then you're going to have four sections. You're going to have the back two, and then you're going to go from your apex from the top of your head to behind your ear, and that's going to be the other two sections. So I look really crazy here, but it's supposed to be divided into four. It makes the dyeing process a lot easier. Then right here, I don't use a brush. You can use a brush if you want to. I'm just gonna use my fingers. And what I do first is I like to pour it in my hand. And then I wanna start from the middle section of my hair all the way down, working it into my ends and trying to get every hair I can. I'm acting kind of like if my fingers were a brush. So just want to continue from the middle section all the way down and I'm going to do this with every section of my hair first. So start from the mid section all the way down and you want to get your roots last. And the reason why you want to do your roots last is because your scalp puts out a lot of heat. So it's because I'm not using bleach I'm not going to get hot roots but it's still a possibility to get that with a box dye color. So my method, I've always just done the midsection to the bottom ends and then when I'm done with all of my four sections, then I go back and apply to the rest of my hair on the top and on the roots. So I'm just going to show you how I do one section, pretty much just get a lot on your fingers. I try to brush it through. You can comb it through if you like as well, I just don't prefer to. But I try to get through, I look at each strand, I take my time, and then when I'm done with one side, I flip it over and I do the other side. So you just wanna make sure that your hair is just well drenched. And remember, it's a dye, it's not gonna lather, so don't try to lather it. You're just trying to spread the uh, dye just evenly as possible. It should look something like that. You should have all of your midsection to your ends done and now it's time for the roots. So take your time, 
I really take my time when I'm doing my roots because I don't want to scratch my scalp. I'm not trying to be rough with it. So I just get some on my hand. I rub it through. I go underneath. I just try to get everywhere I can uh, without damaging or scratching my hair even more. You're gonna get messy, it happens, so make sure you wear something that you don't care about getting dye on. I always get dye everywhere, as you can tell, this is just not, this is a normal thing for me. So once you're done getting all of the excess dye on your roots, um, I always go back and try to get any other spot I think that I missed. And then I put all of my hair in a bun, and because this is an all-over process, I usually leave it on for myself about 25 to 26 minutes. See? And uh, so maybe get messy. Once you get in the shower, don't forget your gloves. You want to wash your hair with lukewarm water. Don't do it with hot water. Don't do it with cold water. Your hair just got dyed. It doesn't want to get shocked any more than it already has been. So just make sure it's with lukewarm water. Rinse out all of the color as much as you can before you add in the conditioner that they usually give you in the box. And this is my final look. Alright guys, well that was the video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, it's pretty simple. I didn't have to use both full bottles. Usually for my hair, it's been so thick and long. I usually have to use two full bottles, but this time I only use like a bottle and a half. My hair is actually thinning. I think I'm losing hair. But it's 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 long, but it's just it's just getting thin. So I didn't have to use that much dye like I used to. But you always want to buy extra if you have long, thick hair like myself, because you you know obviously you don't want to go through your hair and dye it and then be like, oh crap, I need more dye and I have more hair. So you never want to run into that situation. So definitely buy extra because you can always return it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope it was helpful and I hope you guys uh, try it at home. And if you do, then good luck. <laughs> and yeah, happy uh, quarantine day number like a thousand. Yeah. All right guys, see you next time. Peace.